Can you see how some of the cars with red tanks, they already have their oxygen, go across the hole and back up to the lungs again? The aim of our project is to improve health literacy for the children who come to us with heart disease and for their parents. We know that despite our best efforts, children really don't understand a lot about their conditions. And we know that if we can empower them through information that their likely outcomes and their quality of life after or treatments uh, will be better. Ruby is coming in now, she's diagnosing the problem. We've developed a few fun characters based around ticks and animals. We have a very pretty armadillo. We have a bison. The armadillo's name is Ruby. The bison's name is Bo. And they also have a lot of helpers uh, who are called blings. So this is another bling who's obviously a specialist at this type of procedure, has required many years of training. They're the people who do the actual operations and the procedures and Ruby and Bo communicate with them uh, using a series of whistles. The animations have been made by a team that's uh, led by a very good friend of mine from Australia, Michael Liddy. But you had a scene change as well. We were very lucky to get the voices for Ruby and Bo. Not enough cars go out to light the sign. Thank you, Blings. You're very helpful. Uh, and they are Hasti Tagi and Thank Dr. You. Stuart Hall. The kind of sound effects, the whistles, the music, the orchestral score that goes into it, those are all done very intentionally so that it creates a kind of a softer, soothing atmosphere. I genuinely think this is one of a kind. We hope that by having a program like this that's widely accessible around the world, that before any child comes to a heart center, they'll be able to get a feel for what they're going to experience when they attend that heart center.